The one thing I look at right now going into this game that I think could be the potential, you know, the one thing that I think that could be the potential thing that I look at as far as, okay, well, if the Rams are going to win this game, it's hot, right? That one thing would be Sean McVay. I think Sean McVay, as far as, of course, the coaches that have already solidified themselves as the best in the league, you know, Andy Reid, Mike Tomlin, uh, of course, Bill Belichick. If you want to talk about young coaches, I think that we forget that Sean McVay came into this league the exact same year that Sean McDermott did. It kind of seems like Sean McVay has been coaching in this league at a head coaching position forever, doesn't it? Because all you do is all you ever hear about is Sean McVay, Sean McVay. And look, I'm one to try and do my best to kind of knock people off their pedestal as far as constantly being given all these accolades and attention and and credibility and whatever. I'm going to have a tough time doing that with Sean McVay. The guy has earned every bit of credibility he's gotten. He comes into this league in 2017. He's got two Super Bowl appearances, one win. And then the one game against the Patriots in which they do lose in the Super Bowl, he's got Jared Goff, who he decides to move off of essentially immediately, an incredible move that wind up regenerating the way that all of these teams look at their personnel. And they also lost that game by a score. I mean, that game was as boring as it could possibly get. They were right there. Nobody's been more well-run than the LA Rams and Sean McVay's come in. Here's the stat that sticks out to me the most, and it also kind of correlates to what we saw from Sean McVay the last time the Buffalo Bills played these L.A. Rams. As I said, Sean McVay came into this league in 2017. He is 5-0 and oh in Week 1 games. And you might ask yourself, well, why is that? Is it the scheduling? Is it who they're playing? Are they just that much better? I just think that that goes to show you how incredible he is at game planning and how incredible he is at coming up with a way to beat you when he has the time to do so. When you, when you give a guy like Sean McVay an entire offseason to prep for that opponent, he has shown he will not lose. He is 5-0. and oh. Vice versa, Sean McDermott in that same time span, he's 3-2 and two with a loss last year. Now, it could be apples to oranges. There might not be a whole ton to read in here. But the one thing I think that does stand out from that is that Sean McVay, maybe more so than anybody else, is one of the best coaches in the league when it comes to the ability to game plan and also adjust based on what you show him. The Bills absolutely were running the Rams out of the building the last time they played him. Don't you remember? COVID year, first half, the Bills were dumping on the Rams. It was unbelievable. It was one of those games where it felt like the Bills coming out party. I mean, they were dominating one of the best defenses in the league every single drive. They had no answer. And at one point, the Bills went up, what, 28 to 3, something like that. I mean, it was utter domination. But I think you all remember how that second half went. Sean McVay, he goes into halftime, makes adequate adjustments. He shuts down the Bills offense in the second half. He gets his offense motor. He gets the run game going. He winds up tying that game. And if it wasn't for a, in my opinion, I mean, I got to be transparent here. If it wasn't for a God awful pass interference flag, the Bills lose that game. And you look back at that and you wonder, well, how did that go away? How did the Bills' dominance in one full half get swept under the rug and wind up being close to a loss? Well, I think a lot of that has to do with Sean McVay. And I think that's what makes this game a bit more tougher than usual for the Buffalo Bills. I mean, we're used to going into the season outside of last year, which even though, I mean, then I thought the Bills were going to run away against the Steelers. But hey, Mike Tomlin, like Sean McVay, one of the best coaches in the league. But the Bills are often used to opening up against weaker opponents. Oftentimes, it's either the Dolphins or the Jets that you seem to think of when it comes to opening the season up. But this game's a bit more tougher, not just because of the roster the Rams have, but because of the way Sean McVay coaches. And he's had an entire offseason to game plan against these Buffalo Bills, and that's what I think might wind up being that thing that you think of if somebody were to ask you, how do the Rams get this done this week? I'd say, well, to me, if it's going to come down to splitting hairs, I think it might come down to the way that Sean McVay has game planned against teams that he's had a ton of time being able to prep for.
He had a ton of time to prep for the Bengals. It wasn't the greatest performance, but they wound up getting the job done. And he had a ton of time to prep against those Patriots in that Super Bowl. And let's tip the cap. I mean, they played fantastic. Jared Goff just couldn't beat Tom Brady. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do there? I don't think, be, I mean, in hindsight, you'll look back on it. Was that ever going to happen? They were still hanging in it right there. So that, to me, is the one big thing going into this weekend, or this Thursday, rather. I look at Sean McVay, and I think, okay, if there's going to be one difference, potentially that's it.